Hi, I'm Megan. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and today I am sharing with you my thoughts on a new pattern that I tested, the Itch to Stitch Foz Top. This pattern is releasing today and it comes in sizes double zero to 40, which is the itch to stitch size, size range for expanded sizes. It has a regular size bust front and a full bust front, which is helpful if you typically need an FBA or a full bust adjustment. The pattern comes with two different sleeve lengths and I made the long sleeve version. I always roll my sleeves up. I'm, I always have my sleeves pushed up to my arms because you know, I'm working or I'm washing hands or I have kids, but it does have a lovely long sleeve if the weather is getting cooler where you are. Um, so the feature of this top is it's gorgeous button or snap front placket. It's a knit, um, it's like a cardigan, essentially. It's a very lightweight, close fitting cardigan. Um, or you can just wear it as a button or snap front top, like a tee. Uh, I think this is a great piece to add to your wardrobe for the transition season that we're in right now, be it fall in the Northern Hemisphere or spring in the Southern Hemisphere. Wherever you are, I think that there is room in your wardrobe for this. I also mean wherever you are, whether your life sees you going to work in an office, um, running around at home, um, working from home, vacationing a lot, being at school, regardless of your whatever makes up your day, what keeps you busy during the day, I think that this top is a great, classic, timeless piece. I think depending on the fabric that you make it out of, you can really make it to suit your personality and your style, and it is a great basic to build on. Um, so I made my Foz top in a um, rayon spandexy mystery French terry that I bought in the Fabricland clearance section. So if you watched my videos, I often shop the clearance section at my local Fabriclands, which I, which I know can be kind of frustrating if you want to find this exact fabric. Um, but the reality is, is that I'm not, I'm not here with the intention of trying to sell you fabric. I'm here with the intention of sharing the projects that I have made or um, you know, the, the garments that I have sewn. And so this is a, um, a really drapey, super stretchy, lightweight French terry. So it's French terry, so it has the, the loops on the back of the fabric. It's a really lightweight and drapey sweater knit, and I think it makes a great Foz top. So this pattern calls for stretch knits. Um, you don't want something too bulky because it's a close fitting cardigan. Um, it does require both horizontal and vertical stretch and, and that's, you know, to support the armholes. I think if you use something without any vertical stretch and just some give, those armholes might sit up a little bit higher. You might get a different fit to your garment, but um, I did see lots of testers make those out of a cotton spandex or like a slightly um, more, less drapey jersey material and it looked great too. So. Um, for me, I was looking for something that I could wear buttoned up um, or open as a light layer. And I thought that I would predominantly wear this as a cardigan, so open. But as it turns out, I just love the fit of it closed. And if you like that classic sort of button down cardigan and shell combo, this would be a great pattern to add to your collection. Um, the trickiest part of this whole pattern is uh, putting on the snaps or the buttons. And I think that this would be a great pattern to try out if you're a beginner sewist and you've made a couple knit garments. I constructed this entirely on my serger, so I didn't need to use my sewing machine for any of it. Um, the only thing that I did was I did cover hem, uh, use my cover stitch to hem the sleeves and hem the bottom of the garment or the bottom of the top. But I did do all of it on my serger. So it was a really fast sew. Um, it was a really quick make. There's only a few pieces and um, in terms of adjustments, I didn't add length to this garment. So I'm five foot nine and typically I don't add length to my tops because most of my length is from my sort of waist down. Um, the sleeves are quite long. I think that um, I would even shorten them or I used quite a, you know, I would hem them a little bit longer next time. But again, I usually wear my sleeves pushed up. I made a size 16 with the regular standard bust front and I graded it out to a size 24 at the hip and that was based on the measurement chart. I think um, this is like a really, really flattering smooth fit, it's not tight and for the fabric that I used which is a little bit drapey and could have some clinginess, um, I think that the size is top 
like is perfect for me. I think that if I made it again, I might consider grading it to a 22 instead because there's at the hip because there's lots of room in the hip for me if I wanted a slightly closer fitting or if I intended to wear it open. Um, but yeah, it has this beautiful banded finish and um, the it just it's a sleek garment. I think it's elevated. It's great for layering. I am going to get a ton of wear out of this piece, both at work if I'm working in the office. Uh, or at home, because I think it's interesting to look at, right? Like the, the V-neck line is nice. There's a polish to it. You can opt to top stitch this, um, this placket as well, but I didn't because of my fabric. I thought it looked quite nice and, and um, uh, polished without the top stitching, but I think that also is a way to elevate your garment too. I will wear this top with jeans, skinny jeans. I'll wear it with dress pants. Um, I think it would look great tucked into some wider leg pants, maybe in the front. It'd be super cute with a pencil skirt or an A-line skirt. Um, and I think it also, again, it looks, it would look great open as a lightweight layer over top of a sundress or a summer dress. I think um, if you have a cooler evening and you're going on a warm vacation, this would be a great top to make because it is, it's a close fitting um, cardigan, essentially, if you wanted to, to wear it open. You can have fun. I used ring snaps on mine. You can use buttons if you want to make buttonholes. I think you could also, um, if you intended to only wear it closed, you could just sew it shut. Instead of doing the buttonhole and the button and making it functional, you could just sew the, the buttons on and, and sew it shut because I can get it over top of my head without having to take it off. Um, I really like itch to stitch patterns. I recently joined their testing squad or testing team, testing squad. That's what they should be called. Their tester pool. And I tested the Celeste dress and then this is the second one. Uh, my only, I would say my only criticism with this pattern is that, um, and it's not even with this pattern, it's with the, the way that the sizes are layered or um, in the two files. So they are double zero to size 40. And again, with the two like standard bust or full bust fronts, which I think is fantastic. Um, that is a really good size range. It's, it's ample and I think that um, I love to see that expanded size range from, from more and more pattern designers. I do think that, so the files come, uh, the larger sizes are from 16 to 40 in one file. And so they're layered that way. And I often make a 14 or a 12 in each to stitch patterns because of the closer fit in this one and my measurement was just sort of right on the cusp I decided I would make a 16 standard bust front instead of a 12 full bust and I thought the fit is pretty good I could use a narrow shoulder adjustment like I think I could take this in a little bit but part of the reason why I decided to opt for the 16 was my measurements did fit and that meant I didn't have to go between the two files to print off both and then physically layer them one on top of the other to trace off my sizes this is gonna impact a really small percentage of sewists who find themselves on the small size, the small band size for the top um, or bottom and the largest for the other, but it does impact me. Um, and I, I'm happy to do the work to make the adjustments to make the garment fit me perfectly. But in this case, yeah, I think I went for a size 16 and I am thrilled with the fit through the bust and the back. The back is really nice and smooth. It's not clingy. Um, and so I am gonna take the narrow shoulder in when I make another one. And I do intend to make another one. I have plans to make the short sleeve version out of some rib knit that I have that I don't have very much of. Um, so I wasn't sure what I was going to make out of it. I didn't wanna make just a plain t-shirt because I think that this, this is one of those workhorse, workhorse garments that I suspect I'm going to make quite a few of in my, in my wardrobe. Because again, it's comfortable, it's easy to throw on, but it looks polished and it looks professional and it was fun to make too, right? Like putting the band on, putting the snaps in. Um, it, it was a fun and fast and really satisfying sewing project. The other thing I should point out is I did make a mistake when I put this together um, and I put the band on the front before I hemmed the bottom of the garment and you're supposed to hem the bottom and then attach the, the band for the snap or button placket and that gives you a nicer finish along the bottom and I didn't do that on mine I put the I wasn't reading the instructions very well uh, it was late at night and I got cocky and so I put my my band on it's one continuous band that goes on the front and then realized it didn't quite the notches didn't quite match and sometimes that happens when you're testing patterns they, they're not quite right 
Um, and then I realized I was supposed to have hemmed the bottom of the top before I put the band on and then the notches would have lined up perfectly. So yeah, I'm thrilled with this pattern. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, or if you've seen other versions that you think are, are really inspiring. If you have any fabric in your stash you think would make a great fauze top, I have some, uh, like I said, I have some rib knit. I have a patterned sweater knit that I think would be really cute too. I also think it's a great opportunity to play with the buttons that you use to add, you know, a little bit of flair, maybe something sparkly. Um, maybe if you like a festive holiday themed garment. So um, full disclosure, I was raised by a kindergarten teacher and I work with teachers. That's what I do for a living is I work for the public school board. And so themed holiday garments were a part of my regular life. My mom had a cardigan or a sweater for every holiday from September to June, she had it covered. Um, and so if you are looking to inject a little bit of holiday spirit and you wanted to make a a Halloween fauze top out of a black and put some sparkly Halloween buttons on it. I think you could do that and still look pretty professional, but a little bit fun too. Um, I also have a, like a sweater knit that I think a lightweight sweater knit would be great for this. Those rib knits that are super popular right now would be great for this top. Um, French Terry's, a drapey rayon spandex if you're looking for something really lightweight. Um, you could even do it out of like a stretch lace if it had enough stretch and then you would have a lacy cardigan to throw on over whatever it is that you are wearing, you know, to the beach or out um, in the evening. I think it's got enough polish that it's, it would be appropriate to throw on over um, a cocktail dress in the evening too. So give it a try. Let me know what you think and I will see you again soon.